right after about two hours worth of chopping and scraping, I got all the snow off the top of the house. I gotta clean the driveway again. It's a lot of work to go fishing. Okay, testing things out. Furnace is working. Generator is going. Right. I'd say there's pretty good. to lower the house down. It's on the crank. And this pin holds a leaf spring together. And so you pull the house down, you crank it up just in order to free the, the, the pin. And now, just crank the house down about halfway it's good to do it in conjunction with the other the other two points on the house so when we come to the front lower that and we'll get to the other side typically here we would put two by fours under each of the four corners of the house just to keep it sitting above the ice so that any water that comes up the hole as the ice sags a little bit and as the heat from the house kind of melts a little bit underneath that way you're not freezing the house to the ice but there wasn't a ton of snow in the area and we weren't going to have enough to bank up the house so we just set it down right on the ice. We weren't going to stay there very long and the weather looked pretty favorable so we took our chances and it worked out for us. Yeah. Down. At this point in the process, we have the holes drilled and the house lowered down on the ice. I come inside and get the fishing line set and the ice slushed out of the holes. My father-in-law shovels snow and banks up around the outside of the house to create a tight seal so the wind doesn't blow underneath the house and then come up through the holes. It makes it a whole lot more efficient that way. I don't know, I think I have the better end of the deal on this one. Gonna measure our thickness here. Ice report, just about 18 inches. Now well, it's little, but it, it's gonna be a perch maybe. Yep, you call it a little perch on the board. Probably just a small perch, but we should check. Uh, it's got a little bit more weight to it. It's not a small perch, so that's good. That'll go nine. That perch lost that top chunk taken out of its fin. It's a little perch. daytime most of the action is gonna be smaller perch got the underwater camera the aqua view we moved the house about 30 yards 
I always second guess wherever I put the house. I'm like, ah, oh, I should be 10 feet more this way or that way. But we took the time to move the house a little closer to the, to the slope. Fishing an inside turn, kind of at the base of the flat, right where it, we're in about 20 feet. And right behind the house, the slope goes up. In fact, the camera is looking that way and you can even see on the camera, the slope goes up behind us. So hopefully this will be a travel route coming up from the deeper, the deeper flats during the day, coming in the feed as the sun gets lower. Yeah, nice. Fished all night, not a pull down, we're ready to go. And uh, 17, 16, 17, that comes in the house. On that shiner, that size shiner. Gonna make some quick work of this beauty. So we ended up with uh, a couple walleye, two nice eaters, 16 and 17 inches, uh, which were beautiful fish and we're thankful for those. And a number of smaller perch, I, I lost count. Anywhere from four to 10 inches in size, and then one small northern. That wasn't a lot of action in our two solid days worth of fishing. We did spend uh, an overnight in the house, but again, no pull downs. I was really surprised by that. Typically you'll get um, some action overnight, but we didn't. I don't know. Maybe it was a bad day. Maybe we were in the wrong spot. You never know. Fishing out of a nice house, you kind of give up a little bit of that um, ability to chase the fish as they move around. They don't stay in one spot. So that's kind of the, the, the give and take or the pro and con about fishing out of a nice house. But um, there's a lot of convenience and comfort that comes with it, and the experience is super cool. And so on this trip, we had a great time, um, got a few fish, and we'll get after it again the next time. So thanks for joining us, um, and we will see you on our next adventure. God bless. You good? Yep. You got fish on ice. <laughs>